What is up guys, today we have a review of the new updated version of macOS Sequoia which has finally Apple intelligence here and currently I'm on my MacBook Air uh, 13 inches M3, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 200, uh, 512 gigabytes of memory here and uh, I've got the latest version macOS Sequoia 15.1 here so which just released around five hours ago I already made some testing and currently will share the results with you. All right let's start with the Apple intelligence as the main feature. Click on uh, Apple intelligence here so you have join Apple intelligent whitelist and here we have writing summarization the start of a new era for Siri and build for privacy what Apple advertise. Let's click join the waitlist and currently we have joined waitlist. You will be notified when Apple Intelligence is available for your Mac. Okay, we activate it and uh, now uh, we should turn it on. Let's do it together. So here we have Apple Intelligence but here time to experience a new personal intelligence system. Let's see what this. Writing summarization here, enhance your writing and summarize, notification, mail, messages and more. Start of a new era of Siri, okay, more natural, contextual and personal to you. Built for privacy, powerful intelligence without sharing your data. All right, continue. So what we have here, summarize notification, choose which apps use summarization here. And Apple intelligence will summarize the notification in case many of them instead of reading e each of them. Choose which app to summarize. Okay, we can choose the app. So just choose all of them. Um, click back, uh, set up later we can. Okay, summarize all notifications. Siri is an intelligent assistant that helps you to find information and get things done. Just speak or type requesting using your own words. All right, speak to Siri. Type to Siri, okay. Okay, now it's activated. Oh, okay, now it's Apple Intelligence. Um, uh, let's click learn more and see what it will propose. Get started with Apple Intelligence. So supported devices, MacBook model M1 and higher. Availability to US English only. So I had UK English here and I changed it and now it works. How to get started. Okay, so you can use writing tool in an email, messages, Apple Intelligence with Siri, web page summarization, summarizing uh, audio records, use Apple Intelligence in photos, summarize notifications, reduce interruption, Apple Intelligence and privacy. Okay, let's see what it can be doing in Siri. Type to Siri, ask Siri question about your Apple products, uh, make request to Siri to maintain contact. Okay. Uh, hey Siri, how to activate automatic brightness on my MacBook? Okay, just using user guide to help you. <laughs> Not that much intelligent, but it works. How to download an app on MacBook? Uh, let's try one more question. How do I import photos on Mac? Yeah, it's just using user guides, make Siri that maintain context. For example, you can say like, how are the San Francisco giant doing this season? When are they playing next? Uh, all right, let's try what they're asking here. Uh, how are the San Francisco giants doing this season? Okay, showing and then uh, when are they playing next? Okay. Doesn't show. <laughs> Doesn't work. Uh, let's try one more time. How are the San Francisco Giants doing this season? When are they playing next? When are they playing next? Okay, doesn't work that well, <laughs> I can tell you. But okay, it is here, Apple Intelligence, <laughs> new features. Actually, let's see what else uh, claim here by, okay, we don't see it, I guess. 
Okay, let's move on with other intelligent features such as summarize tool. Let's check for Safari here. Um, let's open Google. Let's try to search. Let's scientific development. Let's find something. All right, now it will be a long way here. Uh, the Wall Street Journal. Let's open some article here. Okay, subscribe. Nice. Everything paid. Uh, New York Times. Okay, let's open. Uh, let's open here and find how to summarize it. I say no, you need to click here. Show reader. And here we have summarize. So basically we have such article, not that huge, but now it will be summarized uh, only in two sentences, which is quite nice. And as you see summarization tools, it works, but you need always go in the reader mode and in the reader mode, you will have the summarize feature. Okay, let's check the mail. <coughs> okay, here we have app intelligence, priority messages, message summarization, smart reply. Okay, let's check here. We have uh, Smart Shark. Let's try to summarize. Truly speaking, I don't know how it works here. Maybe you need to select. Writing tool, summarize. Okay, actually it's summarized in one sentence and works great. What else from writing tools we have here? Create key points, make list, make table. Okay, key points. Okay, very convenient and works well. Let's try something else. Uh, create key points, make a list. Make list. You work in, make table. Don't know what it will make in a table, but yeah. Okay, very simple table. Uh, make uh, friendly, make professional. Okay, let's try to make it professional. So it's changing the styles. Uh, I'm glad you gave our trial. It is an excellent opportunity for you to experience. Okay, just to rephrase too, actually, uh, make friendly. But it works well. I'm so glad. Okay. Interesting. Also, you have show writing tool. Where is it? Okay, so we can have it here. Proofread is available. Use an eye. Also nice. Uh, it's a great way to experience. Okay, let's see whether they have some mistakes. Uh, you should already know what your next move is. Okay, they <laughs> they uh, change the mistakes actually. Okay, so it works. It works great. Let's close the mailing and go to next app then can show us some features what you have mail we tried messages i will not try a web summarization we tried and a smart notification i don't know whether it will work or now i don't have any notification but i guess it will work uh, let's see how it will works in photos you have searched for specific photos and videos remove distractions from your photos so finally you can remove distractions on your photos here and it works on your A iphone and mac clean up available only on the uh, m1 macbooks here uh, okay basically i don't have photos here but let's try maybe i have something okay i don't have them uh, but okay, let's quit it for now. I will not use it. Uh, this uh, notification summarize. Actually, it's use reduce interruption focus. So it will just summarize. If you have 10 notifications, it will be summarized in one. Privacy, audio recording, what else? Page summarization we checked and messages. You also have uh, faster summarization. Actually, summary is available along of your MacBook. Although it works with audio recordings here, um, you can just click and your audio recording will be summarized in one click. Let's try this out. Uh, let's try the audio recording in um, notes.
I have okay here they show audio scripts with mass notes highlighting collapse and section it was available before here I already use it uh, let's uh, close it and new note here uh, let's make let's make a recording trying an Apple intelligence here and actually let's see how summarization tool is working and here we go so uh, in macOS Sequoia 15.1 we have so many features feature number one Apple intelligent feature number two Apple intelligent feature number three Apple intelligent all right that's it bye bye okay let's click done um, here we have the transcript already available and we have summary bottom Apple terms is a feature in Magic Way 15. <laughs> Mac OS Sequoia. All right, didn't recognize, but okay. Um, all right, actually, the main feature that it brings you is Apple Intelligent on your Mac. So, actually, that's the main thing that Apple introduced in Mac OS Sequoia 15.1. And uh, although you see now I have, uh, for example, use it on a low battery mode and I have this indicator here that uh, indicates the color before it was uh, just uh, same color white. Uh, here we don't have anything else. Actually, let's open the tips. Maybe they show something in the tips here. What's new in macOS Sequoia? Actually, all this I already used before. Maybe some minor fix are available, but in general, it's the same Mac OS Sequoia works well on MacBook Air M3, and I think on M1, M2 will work well, even on previous one, but Apple Intelligent only for M version. All right, basically, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Put the thumbs up, and see you next time.